Here are 10 fun facts about some of the most famous historical pranks that have left their mark on history. The Great Moon Hoax, 1835. In 1835, the New York Sun published a series of articles claiming to have discovered life on the moon, complete with drawings of bizarre lunar creatures. The articles, attributed to famed astronomer Sir John Herschel, captivated the public and sparked debates, showcasing how easily people can be misled by sensational journalism. The Spaghetti Tree Hoax, 1957, in a famous April Fool's prank, the British Broadcasting Corporation, BBC, aired a segment on Panorama showing Swiss farmers harvesting spaghetti from the spaghetti trees. Many viewers were duped, leading to an influx of calls to the BBC from curious individuals wanting to know how to grow their own spaghetti trees. The Cardiff Giant, 1869, this infamous hoax involved a 10-foot-tall, petrified man, unearthed in Cardiff, New York. Promoted as a prehistoric giant, it drew crowds and sparked intense debate among scientists. Eventually, it was revealed to be a sculpture made of gypsum, created by a man named George Hull to mock religious beliefs. The Great Emu War, 1932, in an attempt to control the emu population in Western Australia, the government deployed soldiers armed with machine guns to combat these flightless birds. However, the emus proved elusive, and the military's efforts were deemed a failure. The absurdity of this war turned it into a humorous footnote in Australian history. The Phantom Time Hypothesis, 1980s, German historian Heribert Illig proposed that a significant portion of history, particularly the years 614 to 911 ad, was fabricated. According to this theory, we are living in the year 1711 rather than 2024. While widely dismissed by scholars, the idea highlights how easily historical narratives can be questioned. The Nixon for President prank, 1968, during the 1968 presidential campaign, Comedian and prankster Dick Gregory ran a satirical campaign, urging people to vote for Richard Nixon while making outlandish claims about his platform. The prank played on the absurdity of politics, blurring the lines between comedy and reality. Operation Paul Bunyan, 1976, following the Korean War, tensions remained high. In a dramatic act of defiance, the US government staged a tree-cutting operation to remove a poplar tree that obstructed the view of a military checkpoint. The operation involved heavy machinery and a show of force, turning a simple tree cutting into a theatrical display of power. The Dancing Plague of 1518 in Strasbourg, a bizarre phenomenon occurred when residents began dancing uncontrollably in the streets. Over the course of a month, dozens of people danced for days without rest, leading to exhaustion and even death. The cause remains unclear, but theories suggest mass hysteria or ergot poisoning as possible explanations. The Trojan Horse, Ancient Greece, perhaps one of the oldest and most famous pranks in history, the Trojan Horse was a cunning deception used by the Greeks during the Trojan War. By hiding soldiers inside a giant wooden horse, the Greeks tricked the Trojans into bringing it into their city, leading to their downfall. This myth highlights the power of cunning and strategy over brute force. The Swiss Guard's fake Pope, 1981, in a light-hearted prank, Members of the Swiss Guard once dressed one of their own in papal robes and led him through St. Peter's Square. Tourists were puzzled and amused as they mistook the imposter for the actual Pope. This prank illustrated the playful spirit of the guards while bringing a smile to onlookers. These historical pranks demonstrate the enduring human spirit of creativity and humor, often providing insights into cultural attitudes and societal norms. Whether highlighting the absurdities of politics, challenging perceptions of reality, or simply providing amusement, these pranks remind us of the lighter side of history.